This is the last group of muscles that we're going to describe today. The muscles that are crossing the knee anteriorly. Okay, in here we're going to include the, all the muscles, the four heads of the quadriceps muscle. Now the quadriceps muscle is called like that because it has four heads, rectus femoris and three vastus, vastus lateralis, lastus, vastus medialis and vastus intermedius. Okay, that's easy as it can get. Now, <clears throat> all of these muscles or all of these fascicles or heads, not all of them, three of them has the origin on the femur. The three vastus has the origin on the femur. There's one, the rectus femoris, that has the origin on the hip bone. So rectus femoris is spanning the hip joint anteriorly and the knee joint anteriorly. So it's crossing two joints. It's going to be, it's going to have actions on the thigh. What do you guess if it's crossing the thigh anteriorly or the, the hip joint anteriorly? Flexion of the thigh at the hip. And if it's crossing anteriorly, the knee joint is going to extend the leg at the knee. Okay, so that's the only thing, tricky thing that we need to keep in mind. All of them extend the knee, the four heads of the quadriceps of muscle, the four of them extend the knee at or extend the leg at the knee and only the rectus femoris can flex the hip or the, flex the thigh up the hip. All of them, all of them, the four heads are innervated by the femoral nerve. So kind of a busy nerve, right? Innervates a lot of things. So let's see this image if they let me. Okay, that image to show you the different origins of the red, of the uh, quadriceps muscle. So we said first rectus femoris originates, uh, this is the superior, this is the inferior, anterior and superior. This is anterior and superior. Well, according to them, it should be this one then. But around here is the anterior and inferior iliac spine. It's that one, guys. This is the origin of the um, rectus femoris, right here in the margin of the acetabulum. Look at the, quad, uh, the vastus. I told you the three vastus has the origin in the femur. So vastus lateralis, so let's put it lateral on the femur, <clears throat> right here on the uh, greater trochanter, part of the intertrochanteric line, and behind, posterior to the femur, remember that we have about here, I'm going to put it a dotted line, so you know there is posterior, the linea aspera, so in part of the linea aspera, okay? So those are the origins of the vastus lateralis. Where do you think we're gonna put the medialis? Towards the middle, right? So in the medial side of this linea aspera, posteriorly, but also here on the intertrochanteric uh, line, and actually goes a little bit uh, further down to the uh, medial supracondylar line, okay? So it's a, it has a broad origin, almost throughout all the shaft. The last one is the medialis. I'm gonna put it in green. I mean the intermedius. I'm gonna put it in green and it just attaches like in the, right here in the anterior and proximal aspect of the femur shaft. That's it. The, there you have the different origins and let's put this is another one. So one, two, three, four heads, okay? From these different origins, they all merge into to form a single muscle. That is that one, okay? Uh, which is the quadriceps femoris, and they all insert together. So here we have, remember, the patella is embedded, actually, it's a sesamoid bone that is embedded in the tendon of the quadriceps muscle. And the patella has this base that points superiorly and that 
apex or the tip of that triangle points inferiorly, okay? So all of these fibers, this is the vastus lateralis, this is the vastus intermedialis, uh, this is the rectus femoris, and deeper to that, we cannot see it, is the vastus intermedius. All of these fibers converge to form this tendon. This is a tendon because it is between or is attaching a muscle to a bone. This is a tendon, and how we're going to call it? Oh, the quadriceps tendon, as easy as that. So this tendon inserts the four heads of the muscle into the base of the patella. Now remember, right there within those fibers, you need to open up the fibers of the tendon, quadriceps tendon, to see the patella. It's a sesamoid bone. Now, this from the tip of, and I'm going to put it now in another color to set the difference, beach, uh, or spanning or extending from the tip, the apex of the patella to this structure. I hope you remember the name, this bump that we have in the anterior aspect of the tibia, tibial tuberosity. So, from the uh, apex of the patella to the tibial tuberosity, we're going to find this. What is that? Is a tendon? No, it's a ligament, right? It's a ligament because uh, it's attaching two bones between the patella and the tibia. And this is the final destination of the insertion of the quadriceps muscle. So it, it, it does like a stop on the patella and from there it goes to the tibia, okay? That's how you need to explain the insertion of the quadriceps muscle. Uh, so it makes sense if I have a muscle from the femur, from any tap, any place of um, here at the femur, it crosses anteriorly the knee joint and inserts right here on the tibia. When I contract that muscle, I pull the tibia, right? Uh, or lift the tibia. So, and that movement is called extension of the leg at the knee. Innervation of all of these muscles is given by the, uh, I forgot to put this, is given by the femoral nerve. Let me see if I can, I forget to set this up. Let's see if we can, anyway, do it. Uh, let me add all the layers. We're still on the thigh. We described already that medial compartment. Let me add more layers. Okay, now we're going to describe in here the anterior compartment. And remember, you're Reference point in here is the sartorius, okay? So this is the medial compartment, adductor muscles, and this is your anterior compartment. It's in between the tensor fascia latte and the sartorius, okay? Now, let's describe the muscles. Here is the rectus femoris. Here is the vastus what? Medialis or lateralis? Medialis, the pointing to the midline. Uh, this is pubic. Uh, and this is the vastus lateralis. Look at the tendon of the quadriceps embedded in here. If you separate, uh, pull apart those fibers of the quadriceps tendon, you will see inside the patellar, uh, the patella. And I want to show you, okay, look in here how the rectus femoris originates up there on the hip bone on the anterior and inferior iliac spine. The rest of them originate, see, somewhere on the femur. This is in the greater trochanter, this is the uh, yeah, lateralis, uh, this, and this is the intertrochanteric line. This is, still I can see a little bit of the intermediates, see? I'm gonna remove one more, oh. Well, that's this one is the medialis, vastus medialis, and I'm gonna add again the layer so you can see the insertion of the origin 
I'm sorry, of the vastus intermediate. Okay, all of them innervated by the um, uh, uh, femoral nerve, and remember, this is the action. Boop, extension at the knee. Only. Okay, that's the only action they have, except rectus femoris, that it can also flex the hip or the thigh of the hip. Um, that's it. Okay, so see you in the next video. I'm going to show you, I'm going to summarize everything I have said. See you.